It's a beautiful day to fuck it up. like start like a YouTube channel and upload some videos and show some like side of my actual life as a student who is doing forensic science because since it's just like an up growing major I noticed that there is like few videos on YouTube that show you like yeah vlogs of like <laughs> you name it, day in my life as a pre-forensic student so I decided that I'm going to do that um, I would like to point out one thing is that pre-forensics is basically pre-forensics so we didn't start yet with those major classes and those major lab techniques that we are supposed to learn so basically for now I'm still like, like taking those courses where it's just like you know introductory courses <laughs> like physiology what else? Fundamentals of lab analysis, for example, I have these two classes today, so you're probably gonna be there with me. And what do we have more? Oh yeah. Do I have RBX in my lab as pure material? Yes. We call them C. No, something I don't have. But is one measurement enough? That's the point. What about? I don't know. But if I prepare a, a one nanomolar standard solution, then if my concentration is around one, I can tell. But if my concentration is way less or way more, it becomes more difficult. So what do I do in this case? I prepare many standards that go from the lowest range possible, zero, to the highest range possible. Then we have more than one and more uh, micromolar concentration on this. Stay. Maximum one micromolar. We build a day. Zero. And micrograms, let's make uh, 1,000 microgram solution. Uh, uh, that is one to the link gram. Then, then look, can I prepare one milligram? Yes. We have one milligram using hands for balance, dissolve it in one ml of buffer. So I have 1,000 times more sure concentrated. This is 10, uh, 1,000. And I don't do that at least 10. Yeah, I mean, 100 times.
on 